Did you know that the controller that comes with your new DJI FPV cord can also be plugged into your Mac or PC so that you can fly a real FPV simulator? Let's show you how. Hi, I'm Ashton Droning on, and if you enjoy these kind of videos, then hit that subscribe button below. But anyway, the new DJI FPV Quad is proving incredibly popular with consumers, all of whom seem to love it once they've bought it, despite some pretty negative early reviews from some reviewers who since have performed a bit of a U-turn. But regardless, what you might not have realized is that the controller that comes with this drone can actually be plugged into your PC or Mac to use with flight simulators such as Liftoff, Velocidrone, and others. Now, I have to confess that I hadn't even thought of this and I have to thank Mai on High or Lexi for actually asking this question in our Droning On Club Discord channel, asking me whether it was compatible. So I plugged it in and it is. So thanks Lexi for the brilliant tip. These FPV simulators let you fly real FPV without breaking anything and without spending a lot of money to repair anything either. They're far more realistic than the simulator that is available on iOS with the DJI FPV app because in that app it's designed all around the controls that you're given with the new DJI FPV quad and that includes stability, obstacle avoidance and position hold. Plugging this into your PC or Mac and flying with something like Liftoff lets you fly real FPV without the assists that the DJI simulator gives you. And doing it is so simple. The first thing you need to do is get a USB cable. Now on the underside of the controller is a USB-C port. You simply plug that cable into there. First turn on the controller, that's quite important. Once it's turned on, connect the other end into your computer and you'll hear that familiar sound. After doing so, it might take a few minutes to install, but then you'll get a notification saying that your new game controller is ready. At that point, you can open up the control panel and then game controllers on PC and verify that everything's working as you expect it to. And now the fun part. You can now use this with any game on your PC. Racing games, flight simulators, and FPV simulators. The one I actually have here is called Liftoff. It's a very good game. It's available on Steam and it doesn't cost a lot of money. Now, before doing this, you may also want to decide whether or not you remove the spring tension from your throttle, but fear not, if you decide not to, you can actually adjust the null zone in the game calibration so that it actually behaves as if the central point is no throttle. Pushing it up becomes throttle. So once you've got Liftoff started up, the first thing to do is click on Options and then Controls. And this is where you basically set up your new controller. Then go to Controller. And from this point, you'll be able to just basically calibrate the controller and make sure it's doing everything it should. So first thing you need to do is go through calibration. It's very, very simple. It doesn't take long, but just check that everything is then after moving as it should. And you can see as I move the controllers here, you'll see everything moving on the screen. Now, the only thing I found I had to adjust is to go into fine tune and I had to invert the yaw axis. That's the only thing I had to do. Just check that everything's going the right way when you press it. Finally, if you haven't removed the spring tension from your throttle control, you may also want to set the zero point to 0.50 on here. All that means is that even though you've got the spring tension in there, in the middle will be no throttle. But if you have removed the spring tension and your throttle is sitting down there, then you can leave the zero point as it is. Then hit save and that's all done. Now we can go and have some fun. So we're gonna to go to freestyle in here. Let's open up that. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got a hangar, we've got a lift off arena, Dubai legends. We've got so many things here. We've got, oh, look at this, the pit. Let's have a look at this one. This sounds fun for a bit of freestyle. So we're gonna choose this one without a specific track because track is gonna be useless for me. I'm not particularly very good. Um, we choose a quad, there are loads of different quads on here. You've got three inch quads, you've got five inch quads. We're gonna go for a three inch here for now. And then in we go with the game. Now this is really good because if you crash, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna cost you money. You don't need to repair anything. It's a great way to get into FPV without really sacrificing much. So here we go, it simulates everything you would see through your goggles from a regular FPV quad. Remember, this is not a DJI simulator. This is real FPV. So. Let's give this a go. We're in a quarry, here we go. Woo, we're off. You even get sound effects as well, and they're really, really cool. So look, we've got this whole quarry here. We can just rip around this quarry as much as we like. We're not gonna break anything. We're not gonna destroy our cord. We can flip it, we can roll it. We can, you know, literally practice all of our tricks here. Backflip, look, you even get points when you achieve stuff. Now, 
let's see, you can change all the PIDs, the rates on here as well, you can change anything you want. I wonder if we can go through this little warehouse here. Is there a door in there? And this is the great thing. Yeah, there is an actually entrance. Let's see if we can get through there. Oh, yep, yeah, we're through. And can we get out? Yay! You see, you even get a bit of break up there. But it's really a great way to practice flying FPV. Now, this is a massive arena. There wasn't really a lot to do there, but you can actually go in a town or a city. So let's go back to the main menu. Let's have a look at some other track. So let's go to free flight. No, free flight. Free, let's go to free flight. This means basically you don't have any points. It's just literally ripping around and having fun. Uh, let's see what tracks we've got here. So we've got a hangar, we've got Liftoff Arena, Hanover. We've got actually an urban city. Look at this. Let's try this one. Um, we could try for a track, but I'm not very good at flying FPV simulators yet. It's been a while. We're going to choose a five inch quad as well this time. Let's try that one. This one looks fun. Now you can even turn on 3D mode on here. If you want to try and fly a quad upside down like Zoe FPV, this simulator gives you that opportunity, but you will of course need to change your controls to enable that. Look at the tilt on this camera. We're in acro mode as well. And here goes, let's go for an explore. Whoa, this is, whoa, we're on top of a building already. And this quad is fast, really fast. So let's have a rip around this little city. Whee, and down onto the road. And should we do a little roll? Yep. Yeah. Nice, oh, whoa. <laughs> And remember, you can play this online with your friends as well and your buddies. So that could be really, really fun. Let's try some ripping around these trees. These trees are very, very low. But this is such a great way to practice FPV because you know you can practice your proximity without actually ever risking destroying your quad. And you know, this is great. I'm very rusty with FPV. It's been a long time since I flew FPV. But what a great way to get back into it. Look, we can try and climb our way through these trees. Yay, look at that, lovely. Let's do a roll over this one. And again, it's, you know, as I said, it's all without having to actually sacrifice, whoa, we crashed. Sacrifice an actual quad. So on that basis, it's great. Look, we can do some little building dives. Well, okay, not quite a building dive. Um, but yeah, we can actually dive. So let's bomb up this one. And then, whoa, that was a close one. Look at that. Not very beautifully done. I'm not exactly a, a, a competent FPV yet. Whoa, <laughs> through the trees. <laughs> We've all been there with a real quad where you just literally bite your lip and hope for the best that it comes out on the other end. <laughs> oh, we're going outside the designated zone. You see, we got a little bit of breakup there as well. So that's really clever how it actually simulates the breakup if you're flying too far away, which is a genuine concern with FPV. You know, you do have to be careful when you're ripping around your quad to make sure that you actually don't fly out of range and can't recover it. Uh, but yeah, this is such a fun simulator. It really, really is good. And the fact that you can use your DJI controller with it, plug and play, it's so simple. Now, I don't know quite how simple it would be with using this on a Mac, but I'm guessing it's probably a pretty much similar process because you, know, you just plug it in, it's USB-C or USB, and away you go. But absolutely brilliant fun. And I guarantee you will be playing this for hours crashing into trees. So there you go. Hopefully this is a useful tip for you in order to get the most out of your FPV flying experience and also to get a free bonus game controller for your PC or laptop. Comment below with your thoughts on this video. Has this been useful and have you had a go at liftoff yet? If so, how did it go? Give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you can't stop crashing. And of course hit that subscribe button below. Thanks very much for watching.